Tell me about vitamin D. Uh, as you know, I'm a huge fan for vitamin D and longevity. Um, what say you? Uh, I agree. Uh, so actually, I co-developed a, a blood test that predicts your biological age, um, the best that we had until recently. And vitamin D was one of five things we measured that uh, correlated very nicely with longevity. And so I'm a big fan. I take vitamin D every day along with vitamin K2 uh, for my blood vessels. And uh, I give it to my kids too because uh, especially in a place like Boston, uh, you can become deficient. But I also I don't want to go anywhere near being deficient. The vitamin D receptor is very important. My wife, who I mentioned earlier, the scientist, she studied vitamin D for the skin and the health benefits of activating these receptors. Um, and it's critical for, for bone and for skin health. And so, yeah, I, I totally agree with you, Steve. You've got to keep those levels up. Yeah, and I'm glad to see that actually uh, there's several labs in the country now that have raised their safe limit of vitamin D to 120 uh, nanograms per milliliter. And I actually think it's probably safe to be higher than that. I've for the last 18 years, I've been running my vitamin D levels greater than 120 to prove I'm not dead. Uh -huh. and, and, and so far, so far it's working well. Uh, and I'll tell you a funny story that I think I've, I've said before, many, many years ago in my clinic, I met two uh, husband and wife in their late 70s. And at that time, we were actually measuring the actual number of vitamin D. Most labs kind of cut off after about 150 and say greater than 150. These people both had vitamin D levels of about 280. And I was flabbergasted because here were two, you know, quite healthy looking individuals. And, you know, I thought, you know, why aren't they dead, number one? And number two, you know, have they had kidney stones? No. Uh, do they have neuropathy? No. And I said, you guys take a lot of vitamin D, don't you? And they said, Oh yeah, it's a longevity hormone. And we've been taking, you know, and I said, and it was actually the first time I, you know, I traditional MD saying, these people aren't dead. And you know, they have this uh, humongous high vitamin D level. Yeah. And that's when I actually started experimenting on myself with these two individuals. Because as I've, I've talked about in my books, I owe, I, mo I owe most of what I've learned from an individual or patient you know, going, you know, look at this, I've got a vitamin D level of 280. Now that's not to say that everybody should have a vitamin D level of 280, and I don't think you'd say that either. Um, but uh, I think we're woefully under vitamin D in this country. Yeah, ab absolutely. Um, well Tell me, Tell me about NMN, and everybody thinks we're talking about M&M's, the candy. Uh, what is that and why is it so important, in your opinion? Yeah. Uh, well, I think most people would agree with me uh, these days that, so NMN is a molecule that we also refer to as an NAD booster. And uh, this is one of the things that my father and my wife and I and our dogs take, actually. Um, I brought a vial here to show you. They just, uh, I take them in pill form. So what is NAD? So NAD, everybody learned about it uh, in high school biology and then promptly forgot about it. It may have been the reason why people left science or became disinterested because it, it is the most boring molecule in biology. It's used for about 500 chemical reactions. Um, it's essential for life. Without NAD, we'd all be dead in about 30 seconds. But, you know, we, we were forced to learn these chemical pathways. It's not that interesting. Things got really interesting when we realized that the body was sensing the levels of NAD to determine how it was doing and what the environment was like. So we now know when you exercise and when you are hungry, your NAD levels go up. Uh, and it turns out that as you get older, your NAD levels go down. And that that's just a correlation, but what we've shown from it, uh, numerous animal studies, rodent studies, an increasing number of studies in people 
is that what's going on is the NAD is turning on the body's defenses against aging through a group of enzymes that we worked on and have essentially uh, spent 25 years figuring out, they require NAD as well. So the hormesis mediators, the enzymes that we think provide the health benefits of diet and exercise are, are responsible for the longevity that you get when you lead a healthy lifestyle. Now, it's interesting to pause on this because we used to think that just running would make your blood flow better and being hungry, um, you know, you lost weight and that's why you lived longer. But actually what I believe, and more and more people also believe, is that NAD um, and these other things that raise NAD are working, um, and also resveratrol, are working because they're, they're actively turning on the body's defenses against aging. And it's not, a, it's not a passive effect, it's not a coincidence, it's really just telling your body, times are gonna be tough, fight against this onslaught. And uh, yeah, NAD is one of the best things that I know to turn on these sirtuin defenses. Yeah, you, uh, you and I take the approach that supplementation is a very important component of successful aging, and that's controversial. Believe me, I was the original anti-supplement guy when I got into this. I did think they made expensive urine. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you saying that uh, you could take these NAD boosters and achieve all the effects that you would need without fasting, without exercising, without doing any other trick? Uh, is it a genie in a bottle? No, there's, there, there's no magic bullet here. Um, and it, and Darn! Oh, come on, help uh, me here. There's, there's, there's no easy way out of this. Um, first of all, you know, I, I don't know if these pills are going to make me live a lot longer. So far, like you say, my father and I are not dead, so that's good, right? Uh, and our blood biochemistry looks great. So, you know, we, we do this under doctor supervision. It's not just random stuff, and I wouldn't ever talk about it unless I knew a lot more about it than the average person. Um, but it's, it's not a substitute for a healthy lifestyle by any means. And that's the reason I, I do these these other healthy things. And one of the best bits of evidence I can give you is that we we treat a lot of mice in my lab to make them live longer and or, or healthier or stronger or fitter. And what we see is that if we combine resveratrol with restricted feeding or if we combine NMN with exercise, we get a, a greater benefit than either of those things alone.